Yo, what's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. So if you are new to this channel, you may not know the difference, but those of you who have been here a while will notice something a little different. First of all, with the setup that I've got behind me, I've moved my setup around a little bit and also a difference with the mic. And if you're wondering why it's set up like this, why I've got an extra guard in front of the mic, that is because I have been recording audio for my big massive video that I have been working on for weeks and weeks and I'm hoping to have out within a couple of weeks. And I'm making this just little segment before the reaction that you are about to see because I have a trailer for you guys for the video. I am super excited for this video, so please try or please do not skip past this part. Please check out the trailer, it would mean a lot to me and without further ado here we go the trailer for my massive video that i will hopefully have out by the end of september the last of us part two is a game that i don't think i will ever play again well let me explain why How are we all doing everyone? I hope that you are well. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Zeppelin and we are going straight on into the next Greta Van Fleet Candlelight Session, Tears of Rain. Now, if you watched the last video, you know how long that was. So you probably just want to see the reaction and not much else. Don't worry. I understand how much I dragged it out that last video. So we're going to have this be a short and sweet video. This song is only 3 minutes 40 seconds. So this one shouldn't take as long either. I'm still going to give opinions. Don't worry, I'm not rushing through the video, but just you're not going to have to sit through a 20 minute waffle like you had to in the last one. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Remember, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe because we are really pushing for YouTube partner at the moment. It would mean a lot to me if I could get it. You know, I'm kind of at a stage with doing all my YouTubing where it's it's coming up to make or break point and there's a lot of stuff that could work out a lot of stuff that couldn't work out but one of the main thing for me at the moment that could really indicate to me that this is the right journey and path for me is if i'm able to hit partner uh, something i did not think i would be able to hit this year but surprisingly enough i have been you know my lot of the time my focus was on my twitch and all that and I'm going to I'm really trying to get back into the Twitch by the way link in the bio to find my Twitch. I am going to be I'm actually going to have a schedule on there now for next week, which I've sort of started half enacting already. So, yeah, just thank you all so much for the support and any more support that you can give now would be so appreciated going forward. Anyway, let's get into it. Greta Van Fleet Candlelight Sessions Tears of Rain. Greta Van Fleet. A very Middle Eastern feel to this one in terms of its uh, scale. I think I said that in the studio version as well. The 
I'm pausing there, and that's probably the only pause I'm going to do in this one. I actually just realised, thinking there, I forgot to rate the last one, although I don't think there's any point rating if I've seen the song before, but I think it just tell you whether it's above or below the studio version, I think is fair enough. This is definitely above. I think this song was a song that I, if I remember correctly, is that one of the ones I liked, but not like completely loved in the original reaction, and then it grew on me. Uh, outside of the reactions and and this live performance feels better i think the strings really add to it again when you're going for sort of a middle eastern style of scale i think it's middle eastern do correct me if i'm wrong if there's any sort of music buffs what is it like is an egyptian or whatever i'm not i'm not really well versed in all this stuff i just sort of know it more from movies it's like when they end up going to a foreign country and wherever and that type of scale music would play that's kind of where i know it from more than anything so i don't, I don't claim to be an expert but uh yeah for that type of music strings i think really adds a lot to it and the strings are adding a lot to it here i think it's a it was a, a, good, a very good choice to get the strings in and i think because they only done a few songs in the candlelight session they done the songs that would most benefit from having strings added to them which was a very good choice Anyway, let's get back into it, let's get it finished, and I will leave you with my final thoughts. Great choice there with the piano to pull it back a little bit. That was very nice. I gotta pause there. Uh, I said I wouldn't, but I gotta say something about that voice. Mm, I, again, you know I love the voice, uh, so I'm only taking a criticism where I can. That didn't sound like grit and vibrato as much as it just sounded like he needed to clear his throat. It sounded mucusy, and the only reason I know that is because I like to try and sing a little bit. I'm just not in a position. I like I can't come out with my shell enough, essentially, to really. Like music is very much an emotion for me, and when I when I kind of get into music and, and and singing and all that, I I I to to ramble in Jesus. When I the only way I can do it well is to sort of get lost in it a little bit, and I'm not quite out of my own shell yet to really do that. But I know from the times practicing, when like just trying to add a little bit of grit to my voice, the only way I could get it to work is if I had a sore throat or a cold and it was mucusy as fuck, and I could just be there like. Aah! And I was like, oh, I have a deep voice. Like, no, no, you don't. No, you don't. You just need to clear your throat, you sick bastard. <laughs> that's that's what it sounds like there. And, and I do think that is the one part where Plant is above this guy is the just the way Plant could move his voice. I mean, I think I, I, I think the Greta Van Fleet singer, again, I could forget the name and I apologize, He's a better range and all that, don't get me wrong, but I think the the the, the quality between the the ranges in terms of softness and grittiness, I think Plant could do better, but you know, minimals, minimal differences here. I just wanted to point that out because, you know, again, I'm a critical guy and I if I see something that I can tell it is not great, I just I'd like to talk about it. So it's, it's a reaction, you know, it's a reaction video. What can I say? I'm not just gonna sit here and ignore things, you know? Wouldn't be fair. Alright, let's get this finished. <laughs> that little grit theory don't do you done there sounded better.
good use of the drums there for the atmosphere. Garnier, because you're worth it. Alright, Greta Van Fleet, Candlelight Session, Tears of Rain. Okay, let me just get rid of that quickly and I'll talk about this. Definitely better than the studio version, without a doubt. Other than maybe the mucusy part, I would have to say it's it's uh, it's better. Um, the use of strings again is brilliant. The the guitarist it wasn't like wasn't bad. Like there again, wasn't much really for him to get wrong there. And I think it was it was good. It was good. It was, like it just it worked. It worked well. I don't really have any criticisms there. Yeah, the piano playing was great. Um, no, nope, sorry, hit that. I'm not used to having the mic like this myself either and yeah it was just it was really good it was it, it was really good not much went wrong there whatsoever and it's definitely a song i'll be listening to in my spare time it is sort of a song i listen to a bit in my spare time from the album uh the studio version that is so this is a version i'll definitely check out more and probably check out other live performances of it as well but anyway, that has been the end, has been, well, this is the end of the video and we have been reacting to Greta Van Fleet, Candlelight Session, Tears of Rain. Let me know what you think of the reaction and of the song down in the comments below and remember to leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it. And even if you don't like it, subscribe, you know, just do me a favor. I'm sure like even if you hate me for slazing your wonderful band, that you'd love to make my life a little easier by being another wonderful subscriber you know that's definitely gonna work i'm just gonna see the ticker go <laughs> as soon as this video comes out but no seriously thank you so much for the support thank you for watching you know I, I i really do appreciate it and i hope to see you in the next one i think there's only one more candlelight session but i might do some other live ones as well after but i won't be doing them today as you can tell same t-shirt as the last video i'm getting all these recorded today so we'll eventually do more of the songs in the album live at some point but for now we're just sticking with the candlelight sessions Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.